hello guys hello guys uh, welcome to another video so today we're going to look at uh, vic 75 we're just gonna have an analysis on it like we always do so if you're new here make sure that you you know you hit that subscribe button and you also like and share so that i keep on bringing this kind of video so the structure looks uh, quite different to the last time we had an analysis and you can see that it has moved a lot to the downside so we always start with the highest time frame just to check that uh, just to have a quick look at that uh, higher time frame structure right so if you have been here for some time you will remember that we had said that at some point we had a bearish trend line there and the price touched that trend line it failed to break it and then it stayed there for one month and then it went down and then i don't know if you can see this and then this became this became we said that from anywhere from here from here that's where the price is going to struggle to keep on going up simply because this is the guy that pushed the price down and broke the trend line so that's why when the price went back if you look at this the price just went back to this and then it got rejected again it's going to the downside i didn't expect it to go all the way down so quickly but it said that when you look at the bigger picture and what is happening here as being bearish having the nearest resistance there it being touched and what it has done there's a higher chance of the price still continuing to the downside but i didn't expect it to happen so quickly and now when you look at things it means that because we broke this low we can look at this we can take this as what the nearest resistance on monthly and in terms of the support we are actually inside the support anywhere around there there's something but this does not look nice so i wouldn't be surprised if it still tanks tanks until it touches this one here this one this is the one that looks nice even though it's not fresh but this is the one that looks nice so we can see that this has been falling for a very very long time it's been falling for some time imagine the highest we've been was there and then i'll say like um for eight months or so we've been dropping right so it could be that now we are coming to a point where we will uh, most likely see it you know starting to pick up until there maybe for like two months three months or so will be you know we're most likely to react from this support and go up there so only a matter of you saying yes the price is dropping i know it's not easy for me to sell i mean to buy because we're dropping but you need to wait at those right locations wait for those structures a, key, a, a, a good structures to form that will suggest that the price could be about to 10 so that when you're holding those trades you know that even if you hold for some time a long time it's not much of a problem because of what the location allows you to hold those trades so that's all that we have on our monthly chart so let's check our weekly chart quickly and there's a guy here i'm sure if you check in the comment section by the time you watch this view some of you uh there'll be a guy by the name of tabang uh, it will be there i know he's gonna be there in the comment section he likes this type of zones there's something like this and i always you know you used to fight about this one for a very long time but he likes this ones so you can see the price turned from around there and then it turned so i wouldn't advise you to go for those ones but these are his favorites mr mashilo so now this is what we have on our weekly and we know that the monthly is is bearish it's uh, dropping fast towards uh, an area of support it is basically like currently it's inside a support but it doesn't look nice but yes the price can turn meaning the price can turn any minute from where it is it can turn or you can still drop a bit to that zone on monthly that looks a bit nicer before going to the uh, to the upside so on this time frame the trend line is here and here is your what do you call this here's your resistance which is what uh, the resistance on our weekly chart and we are bearish and in terms of the support which one can we take uh, we can take this one here of which we are inside this one that looks like a pin bar so that's the uh, weekly support we are inside a weekly support that is inside a monthly support even though we said the monthly support does not look nice but i also mentioned that any minute from now this can reverse right so we are just watching and waiting for those signals that will suggest that the price you know could reverse because now if you've been holding your sell trades just keep on uh, dragging your stop losses to the downside i wouldn't advise you to add more positions if it still moves in your favor it's a good thing just keep on bringing your stop losses down so that's all that we have so if you wanted to buy for long term 
even on weekly it doesn't allow you to do that because even if you're to get a buy trade anywhere around there you know that the price is going to struggle to pass this uh, uh, uh this uh, trend line so you need to exit somewhere there you can see that something like this is really not feasible at this point in time so let's check what we have on day you see why i'm saying i was not expecting this to happen so quickly we did uh, talk about it you know when we're looking in the monthly as touching that monthly resistance we did say there's a chance of it going to the downside but i did not expect something like this guys on daily something like this you i know i didn't see this one coming so daily we can clearly see that it's also uh, bearish we have uh, what do you call this we have a bearish turn line there and you have got your resistance there so you just have to uh, zoom out and you'll just find that uh, a support in this case it will be this one here we are inside a daily support and we hit the daily support and that daily support is inside the weekly one inside the monthly one and then we're saying we're expecting a reaction from anywhere you know any minute from where we are we are expecting some reaction so we need to be careful when you're taking those trades because of what you can see this thing has been dropping it's been doing stuff like this you know stop stop like that so we need to be careful so that when you are buying we don't fall victims of such stuff where you know you're buying there and then you are anticipating it to go up like that and then it just stays there get some strength and then drop again so we need to be careful it's not easy for us to just execute now so on daily also we don't really have anything as yet that will say to us uh sell because you can see here the price was moving up nicely and things changed when we had this bearish engulfing that's where the problem started and then it went down it broke the trend lines it kept on dropping kept on dropping and then some were expecting it to stay there but this is not a good zone and then it just moved past that so currently we can say that we are just anticipating we're just waiting uh, for something here that will say to us uh, you can give your your your, your bulls a chance now maybe they could go and push until maybe at least the trend line or that resistance at least if you're someone that's trading on daily but at the moment you don't really have anything so let's go to the execution because that's where you'll be getting the reactions faster or uh, you'll be getting them here before you can get them on your what do you call this so you can see this is also bearish you can put a, a bearish trend line anywhere there and the zone is this this is your resistance on on h4 so if you're trading smaller time frames you'll be targeting this guy you're not gonna go like that so you're targeting that guy maybe when you exit the trade and then you see the price doing something like this then you can say oh it means like the structure on h4 is changed because we're moving to the downside we had a bearish trend line now all of a sudden we are on the other side of the bearish trend line and we even took the, the, the resistance out maybe that's when you'll be that's when you can say i've got this very strong area of support they tried these guys they tried they failed to do this they tried they failed to do this they tried they failed to do this all of a sudden this guy this guy is the only one that managed to have managed to do this and break a uh, resistance and trend line so that's what i'm saying only if this guy does that stay outside the trend line or stay outside uh, on the other side of resistance then when that happens that when you can mark it and say this is very special because of what is a special support because these guys they tried they failed to go up now he's the only one that did that changing the structure from bearish to the upside then that's when you can say if i get a pullback now i know very well that we are bullish i can um, there's nothing wrong with me uh, taking a buy like that but currently if you want to buy uh, you get some confirmation there you are only going until there you just quick scalping or maybe holding for three or four uh, uh what do you call this uh, uh hours or the one day you are out because we don't yet have anything that's saying to us we can have something like that so we're not gonna predict that so even if you're going a bit lower uh, you can see you had a very nice pin bar inside that daily support inside that uh, 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 weekly support that monthly support so if you were to execute it here you'll be targeting this guy so remember you need to know that uh, i'm executing based on the structure on which time frame then that's the time frame you're going to use to manage your trade you use that and the ones higher so you cannot uh, uh, execute on on an m5 and then tell me you are going to exit on weekly resistance it does not make sense at all so the guys that 
I taught so far. They know I taught them how these time frames they link. So we need to make sure that you you don't skip in between them. So this is our this is the last time frame we're gonna do. And in terms of the turn line, you can put it somewhere there. And this is a nice uh, resistance there. And you can see that you've been saying that because of the location where you are, you are anticipating a pullback, even though the pullback might not be something like that, but you're anticipating a pullback. So if you are strong enough, just that I didn't see it, if you're strong enough, when you see this, you're saying, oh, the bears all of a sudden, the, you know, the bulls were pushing, I mean, the bears were pushing, pushing, all of a sudden, they are allowing the bulls to do it, sort of uh, reject the price here. So now when you say maybe you go there with the buy stop or instant order, you are targeting this remember you are using the structure here on h1 to to execute you need to use the structure on h1 to manage your trade so this h1 resistance will be your target something like this because remember the very same h1 that we are on is still bearish so meaning it can still uh, this can just be a pullback like this one towards the resistance and drop this can just be a pullback towards the resistance and trend line and drop so we don't know that that's why i'm saying the buys that we're taking they are not long term but we are anticipating that the pullback is something that is just nearby based on the structure that you saw on the higher time frame so now you are just going until there so if you go out and then the price does this that's when you can say let me add more let me add more and anticipate something like that so you need to first wait for the price to show you this before you can decide to go for long term because currently when you are here there's nothing that the price has given you this could just end up being a, a pullback and continue like that because of what this is a very sensitive area and this is a very sensitive uh, structure so you see where they meet you see where they meet this is very very dangerous this can still go to the downside because of what nothing has changed basically h4 is still bearish h1 bearish daily bearish weekly bearish monthly bearish so that's why us planning a long-term buy trade it's not a good idea so you're just scalping when you're anticipating it's a good thing that you know that you are anticipating a pullback. And if I ask you why you are anticipating a pullback, you will tell me that the location, the location where we are currently, it's a very nice support and we've been dropping for too long without any pullbacks. And you know that a smooth uh, a trend is the one that does this. This is a nice trend more than the one that moves like this. When it does this, it can even pull back like that, which won't be nice when it pulls up uh, with your trades, right? So that's why when the price does this, we're just saying, if I manage to get a trade here, I'm targeting the next opposing structure because this thing is still bearish. It can still continue with the trend. But if I exit there or maybe leave one trade running, I need to make sure that that trade that is still running, I take the stop losses, I put them above, and then I'm just saying, should it come back and continue with the downtrend, it will kick me out with a small uh, profit. But should it go up and do this, it means I already have one trade from this. Then if it continues, maybe give them another zone and then come back, I can add more, continue like that. So that's how you should approach it. So just to conclude, we'll say that all the time frames, the significant ones, they are bearish. So long-term trades, they are still bearish. But now, unfortunately, the location doesn't allow us to you know, keep on taking those uh, trades to the downside. That's why I said, if you already had trades to the downside, it's time that you do what you, you manage them. It's time that you, you all you have to do is to keep on dragging your stop loss to the downside. Like here, if you're someone that's what's managing the trades using H1, you will say the nearest structure is this, the nearest structure is that. So let me just say I'm putting my stop loss here to say that if the price was to go up and hit my stop loss, what is it that I would take from that? I would say the price has broken trend line. The price has broken resistance so meaning the price is no longer bearish so that those trades that i've been holding the the bearish trades they it's it's, it's, it's i cannot be holding a, a a bearish trade a sell trade whereas the price is no longer bearish you see that's how you manage your stop loss you bring it above a point where you say should the price break this it means it will have changed the structure it's a good thing that i go out i do not hold the trade anymore so there we're saying now on this one if you manage to because i gave you even before you came to this time frame i showed you that based on the location that we are on uh, a pullback is something that it's, it can happen any minute now and if you manage to get that trade here on h1 using this rejection kind of stick don't go past this guy you are targeting this it's more than enough because you know that this is big 75 guys 
it moves like crazy so from this to that is about 100 points so if you're someone that's trading with 0 0.01 that's 100 dollars on the dot you see it's not bad it's not bad so that's why you must never push your luck if you want to keep it and say i know it just to go up make sure that you lock in some profit but i wouldn't advise you to do that when you only have one trade the fact that you open one trade it means your target or your plan is still to grow the account so if you want growth target those 10 percent whatever you know this to that that hundred dollars will do a lot it will do wonders when you're still growing your account it will give you more margin when you want to open the next trade all right guys so that's all that we have on big 75 and that's what you can expect or look out for when you want to get more trades and then i'll see you in the next one just make sure that when you are here it's also not a bad idea when you get the confirmation there for you to uh, uh, get something like that should it price uh, show some signs of weaknesses there rejections and stuff like that it's not a bad idea but now like i was saying selling is not something that i will because of the location and at, at the same time the buying that you do it's a short term also keep that in mind all right guys i'll see you in the next one please do not forget to subscribe thank you